So it's a uh, been a while. Hey, look, instead of letting you guys know where I've been for the past three weeks, let's just get into what I'm doing today. I've decided to take a break from Tekaichi 4 for this video and thought it'd be a good idea to rank all of the Dragon Ball Z games I've played in my lifetime. But I'm not just going off of my experience because that would be generic. And since none of my friends have played more than three Dragon Ball Z games in their lifetime, I decided to use two videos here on YouTube to get different perspectives and experiences. These are the two videos I'll be watching today. And let's hope they don't disrespect my personal goat too much. All right. I think the smart thing would be for us to first do is to get rid of the stuff we haven't played. Spark and Zero, sadly I wasn't invited. I'm gonna have to wait till October for you. I'll be back whenever I finish doing this. Shouldn't take me that long. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put up a play when I'm above him. Am I really spelling? Oh, on Ur. Okay. Damn, I really haven't played a lot of Dragon Ball Z games. I, I thought I played a lot of them, but I, I'll put this here because the intro is fire. Actually, the intro is fire above all these. I'm gonna give them with you. All right. I think I've pretty much cleared everything out. Obviously, these are not all Dragon Ball games like exist on this planet Earth. And the honorable mentions, like I said, it's Park and Zero, never played it before. Legacy of Goku series, everyone says those games were fire. Uh, Shin Budokai, Infusions. Let's look around here. Which which one do we want to get out the way first? I think we go Taiketsu. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I need to look at what these guys have to say. I'm going off on my own. And I don't even want to hear what they got to say. I'm going to put this shit at garbage. Actually, I, I kind of want to hear what they have to say. Remember this intro, by the way, guys? This is like peak rhyme. What happened? 100% amazing. Uh, take it. You know what? Now I think about it, Taiketsu deserves its own tier. Dumpster fire. This game was bad. You know what, Ron? I will second that notion. What the f were they thinking? They're just gonna bring you out of garbage. I think I think you're worse than garbage. We're gonna put you right here. Um, what's the next one? What's the next one we should do? I think we should go ahead and get out the way. We're gonna see what they gotta say, and then we'll make our verdict. Now, obviously, before I get to these videos, I know they're gonna they're gonna trash it. They're gonna clown it. But look, this was my game. It deserves. It, it gets way too much hate for what it was. Okay. Oh, ultimate Tekaichi. Oh. Uh oh, chat. Here he goes. Here he goes. So rock paper scissors was earlier on this tier list. That's fine and all. This game literally is the rock paper scissors jump, bro. But look, but look, but look. The graphics though. The graphics. Come on now. The graphics. They look kind of nice though. Come on now. So, hello. So there's like two ways you fight in this game, right? There's an in air thing, like an aerial mode. And then there's a um uh, close combat mode. Hey, but there's look, but look, it's, stra it's strategic though. Like you gotta be strategic with your plays. Like, come on, now you. Ain't this before his time, man. He he didn't get it. He didn't, he never got it. He never got it. He never got it. Anytime someone's flying towards you, your character just goes like this. I swear. With like three options. With, with, with like three options of what to do. Hey, look, look. It was ex it was an experiment. To me, it was okay. Obviously, the gameplay is what it's lacking in. You got to look past the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a video game. You got to look past the gameplay. Everybody, y'all still play Dokkan? Come on up. Come on now. Dokkan is free, though. It's, it's just you weren't ready for it. We just weren't ready for that type of gameplay before. We weren't ready for it. This game is easily the worst game I've ever watched. And then when I played it. Okay. I you're you're going too far. You're saying you'd rather watch Sagas than Ultimate Take Aichi. I understand Sagas actually has some actual gameplay. But that gameplay looks trash. Let's keep it a band. It looks like Garbo. It plays like Garbo. The only thing wrong with Ultimate Take Aichi, it was just too simplistic. That's literally it. What, what what is what are we going on right here? What, what's going on right now? They essentially try to take what Ultimate Tekaichi was, which should be on the list here as well, and they basically took the leftover there it is, the leftover um, assets and try to basically make you play Ultimate Tekaichi through the Kinect. And by the way, this is going F as well. I did not like what they did with Ultimate Tekaichi. I know, I know some of you are going to be like, I love Ultimate Tekaichi. Yes, me. Uh, I'm a gamer. That likes to play games where you actually feeling like you're in control. You're not in control. Ron, you play Dokkan. Rhyme, you play Dokkan. What you mean? I mean, you didn't have to pay sixty dollars for Dokkan. Sometimes you do be paying sixty dollars for Dokkan, but like, come on, man. Rom, please, man, please. Come on, man. Now, if this is a mobile game, uh, I feel like it could be a mobile game. I'll probably move it up to maybe C or something. But this is a console game. It should not. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. I tell you what I said earlier. You know, I could follow the herd as a sheep that I am and just go to here. But that wouldn't be right. I gotta bring it up. I'm gonna give it 
It was a B effort. Ultimate Tenkaichi was honestly a really good game. In my eyes, when my mom sat there and paid $60 for this game, in my mind, I was like, okay, look, I gotta enjoy this game to the fullest. And enjoyed it, I did. I wasn't playing it because, oh, my mom paid $60 for it. I was playing it because I was enjoying, I was actually enjoying myself with the story mode, with the hero mode. I didn't play it after that, but there's no replay value and that's why it's a B. You know, after you're done with story mode and hero mode, I mean, what else you gonna play? And let's, and let's be honest, bro. Ultimate Takaichi is the Elden Ring of QTEs. I'm, bro, I, I was feeling them when I was a little kid. I had to face baby. I'm telling you right now, the end where you have to like fire a full power energy rave at the ball that he's throwing at you, that was the hardest thing to match. I had to match what, triangle? It was like I was playing BT4 in 2008 or 2011 or something like that, bro. There was no escape in that. And let me not get started on cooler meta cooler was a demon for no reason all right what's the next game that we can shit on and or dick ride let's get connect out the way should we get connect out the way because it's right there with it i don't think we have to look at what they have to say i think we put connect i never played it i'm gonna keep it band with you but i feel like connect deserves its own little spot as well we're gonna put a you tried right there what's the next game you can do let's do evolution i feel like they're not really gonna talk about evolution because i'm guessing they never played it obviously so it's literally dragon by evolution i'm not gonna downplay the, the movie the movie was a movie to say the least um if i were to put this anywhere i would also put this in you tried i don't want to put this in like a garbage tier or even like a, a an honorable tier like these but i'm gonna put it in a you tried tier simply because the gameplay wasn't that bad Let's look at burst limit. What do they have to say for burst limit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> burst limit. I'm not going to lie. Burst limit is pretty fucking fire. Eh, that's what it was. It was eh. It was okay. 3D-ish Dragon Ball games, but it was like one of the more fluid ones for sure. If not the- Now, whoever this man playing, he is cooking this nigga pickle. Oh my God. He spent his hours on this game for real. It was pretty fun. Obviously, I'm not going to call it Peak Dragon Ball because I think Peak Dragon Ball is them games that's like, hey, I could play that shit till I'm 90. Burst Limit. Uh, burst Limit automatically goes to A. I will put it to S, but the problem with Burst Bro. Limit, as you guys know, is the game was delivered unfinished. Burst Limit was fantastic. Uh, it, I don't, this might be controversial. I don't really fuck with Burst Limit like that. Now look, let's call a spade a spade. If I hound on this, I got to hound on OP Takaichi too. Burst Limit had like a lot of, like he said, it was unfinished understandable i just didn't like it i don't know what i didn't like about it it played just like budokai one well it didn't play just like it but it was like it was pretty much a successor of the budokai series i'm gonna put it at i'm gonna put it at c it was an okay game for me for me for my, if i were to give you a reasoning for why i put it at c it would have to be it has a lot of reused cutscenes for like some of the support support systems like i said call a spade a spade Ultimate Takaichi has the same animation for a lot of stuff. It gets tiresome seeing uh, when you're doing, when you're trying to rush in and move into melee range and you do that key blast thing. Everyone got the same key blast. Everybody got the same ragdoll animations. I just have more fun playing. If I were to pick between Ultimate Takaichi and Burst Limit, I'd pick Ultimate Takaichi. Because I play Burst Limit all the way through. Did they have Majibu Saga in that I think they had Cell Saga and they went straight to the what ifs. Um, I think we should get GT Final Bout out the way. Final Bouts! Oof, that goes straight into F. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna put it in D. It's not, it's not nearly F word. Ooh, what? Ron, what? You're out of your damn mind, buddy. You're out of your mind, bucko. That is going into what were they thinking? <laughs> that dude, no, no, that game was terrible. I'm sorry. I tried, bro. I tried. Actually, they had a fire intro. Damn, now I don't know if I want to put it in you. What the fuck were they thinking? Because they were kind of thinking with that intro. I'll put it in garbage. It ain't going no D, but I'll put you in garbage. The voice actors were off. What, what else was off? The gameplay fell off. It, this was the first Ultimate Tenaichi because you have to play off of someone else's finisher or super. I don't know why I said finisher. You can't move out of the way. This should have been called Final Bout 2, if anything. But you know what I'm saying? W title. <laughs> Kakarot. Let's see what they got to say about Kakarot. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot without a shadow of a doubt, no matter what, peak. Honestly, may piss some of you off. This genuinely has a conversation in the GOAT conversation because it, look, I t No, no, no. I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't put it peak. If I was put, well, I'm going to get to when I was putting it, but I, I just genuinely disagree for it being in GOAT. Kakarot, for literally no reason, ha it has no reason looking that damn good. 
it. Kakarot is easily the best visually aesthetic Dragon Ball game of all time. I don't know why the fuck the Vegeta versus Raccoon fight goes so hard. If I were to put Kakarot anywhere, I'd probably put it in like the S tier. On it, ooh, or A tier. I'm not trying to like be different from other people and whatnot. I want to leave S and Z for those really good Dragon Ball. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me help it out. I'll give it like low C, low C, high A, simply off the fact that it's actually an R, it's an RPG game. So it's playing its role correctly. With the level up, and that's the weird thing about Kakarot, with the level up aspect, you know you're leveling up, but when it comes to traditional RPGs, obviously the main quest is gonna soar you high into like high levels, but side quests are also there to like up your level up some. In Kakarot, when I was playing the side quest, I didn't feel my level like going up that much like there should have been correct me if i'm wrong i don't really know because i didn't really do side quests i was not in enticed to do side quests i was getting rewards from it sure but i wasn't getting a lot of xp from side quests when i was playing the game objectively speaking it's a really beautiful game a really beautiful game dlc was really good until we got to the end part a really a really good game the fact that you can fly around and free roam is honestly astonishing that don't that don't make sense because universe did the same thing but you got a really big open world to do it in dragon ball and i think it's kind of cool that's what everyone's hyping it up for, to be oh i can fly around as Majin vegeta around the world and stuff like that. that's that's a cool thing to do that's that's really cool now there are some times i am going to pull c reacts there are some times where i feel like cc2 could have been like eh we'll wait another year and they could have went above and beyond for like a lot more than just the select few cutscenes that they had. But that's just me nitpicking. I wouldn't, I would, it wouldn't be in contention for Z. I don't think it has replay value, which is another reason why I'm not going to put it as Z. Now, if they added what ifs to Kakarot, that would be crazy. Minus DLC, minus like cutscenes. We'll go ahead and get Budokai 1, 2, and 3 out the way. Either way, I'm going to tell you now, the first Budokai, yeah, it's not that good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, huh? wow, that's crazy. What's his reason for that, though? Actually, we're going to call an audible here. I confuse Budokai and Budokai Tenkaichi. Budokai Tenkaichi, I'm going to put that in forgettable. Budokai, I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that shit right the fuck here. What? One what? What do you got to say? Reason and one reason only. And if you're not a hooper, if you don't play games, expose yourself. You're doing it because of the mini game? That's such a weird thing to. That's a, such a weird reason to put it in the old game. I'm not gonna lie, but I could. No, nah, I can't. I can't see it. I can't see why you do that. It was annoying as a kid, but like I ain't even struggled on that game mode as a kid. I, I think I died like I think I messed up like two or three times on that i didn't really struggle on that thing like that bro like, like i was like dang this thing kind of okay i gotta rotate a little bit softly like but you come from like budokan tikaichi where like that stick is probably stick drift to hell so like he, he probably won't even spin it like that and it would just send him across the map i didn't struggle on this part as much as everyone else did i think i had like like i said two or three tries on this but like after that third try like i was locked in he was not getting out of that blue out of that red line like, he was staying right in the middle this may be the dumbest quest in Dragon Ball gaming history. It's not that dumb. The fucking the the milk the milk train thing from Universe Two. That that is a potential to be the dumbest quest of all Dragon Ball games. Dynamic saga stuff where you got to keep collecting Dragon Balls just to up your level. Like that's that's annoying as hell too. Let's just let's be honest. That one's annoying as well. Th this alone argues a game bro so it's like 15 seconds you can hold him in 15 you can't you can't fight that for 15 seconds you ain't even gotta really be in the line for real like it was really forgiving surprisingly for an old game as long as like 70 percent of his body was in the line like you were good you didn't have to be all the way in the mob like you had to like as long as like most of his body was in in the in the line of sight you were good you didn't have to worry about that that wasn't that bad budokai oh my gosh okay it's funny, I just posted a picture uh, on my Twitter. If you're watching this, uh, I posted this past weekend. Uh, this is the first Dragon Ball game that like started coming over to the West at the time. Reasonable, you got Budokai, reasonable spot. And there was just upwards. You know, you got Budokai 2, Budokai 3, you got uh, Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3, yada, yada, yada. You know what? I might put this in B. Only because Budokai 2 and 3 are so much better than it that I feel like it should be the same. Honestly, reasonable, reasonable. But where's Budokai 2? I'm going to immediately look for that and just go ahead and shoot it right off the list. There it is. Should write up the list and put that right up in A because again, Budokai 2, I feel like is a slept on game. And Budokai 3 is an A? Okay. I didn't play Budokai. I, I thought I did. I thought I did. I, I'll put it on the mentions actually. We will say it's really good. Budokai 1, I'm going to put this 
where it's at right now. That's a joke. I'm gonna put this probably in A. Chat, it's like the first good 3D game we had from Dragon Ball. It's honestly high A. So whoever can topple that is insane. Budokai 3, I think I played it that one time. Budokai 3 is the high A. But Budokai 1 is right there with it, bro. I heard what Ron said about Shin Budokai. Shin Budokai, I'm gonna tell you right now. That shit is going to fucking be probably over Ultimate Takayuchi. That game was it. I'm sorry, that game was him. Fighters, I feel like everyone's gonna say, they're gonna say Fighters is good, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's good too. Probably up here with Kakarot. I'm not gonna put it over. Mm, I'll put it over Kakarot. Fighters is the first fighting game I took seriously. I didn't really get into fighting games like that until Fighters. Like when Fighters dropped, this was the game where I like I took it so serious. I started playing other fighting games like Guilty Gear, Street Fighter. This was my in introduction to fighting games. World Mission. This is like pretty much Dokkan, but on console. So I'm gonna put this at like C. It's an okay game. Probably above Burst Limit. Surprisingly, underrated. Underrated game. I don't think it should be $60 when it, when it dropped, but it was an underrated game. Breakers, I feel like they didn't play Breakers. I think Breakers came out two years after Kakarot. I think it was 2022, right? 2023, 20, I don't remember. So I'm gonna think they don't have that up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. It's a cool little D&D &D game. I'll put it in C. DBD, not D&D, DBD. Dragon Ball Online. Dragon Ball Online is a cool, a cool game as well. I'm gonna put it in D. For the simple fact that they turned the servers off for some unbeknownst reason. Actually, we'll probably put it in C. Over Breakers, because I enjoyed Dragon Ball Line Over Breakers. I've probably been over Burst Limit. Uh, I think these other ones, I kind of want to hear their opinion on. Probably not Sagas, because Sagas is trash. <laughs> I'm going to put Sagas in D. As much as I didn't like Sagas, it's not F-worthy. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm going to put that... Put Yo, I'm pogging right now. Hold up, what? Playing through Sagas the first time was a lot of fun. Yeah, Sagas can go in C. Just... Dude, what? Is there more love for Sagas than Ultimate Tenkaichi? I've seen it all. There's no way. I just hope that they never make another Sagas game ever again, though. But <laughs> okay, okay, as long as we know that. Dragon Ball Sagas for those blanking on Sagas. <laughs> Yes! The NPCs that could end your run on some Kakarot shit, bro. Yes! Oh, uh. that's right! I remember! They would... Oh, my... If you died, you had to start at the beginning! Oh, that's bad! Ah, and it was fucking awful. It's like the worst thing in Kakarot, bro. And on and all, all, we tried. I'm probably gonna put BT1. It's not garbage, don't worry. I'll probably put it in C. I will say this, BT1. You're over you're over burst limit. I will say this. You might be over you're 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 over them too. I don't know about world mission though. This game is trash. I will say that bitch is not for me. BT2 on the other hand. Let me just go ahead and let them talk for me. I already know what they're gonna say. Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Not gonna lie. Hey man. Hey, man, he already know. Niggas, hey, he niggas, already know. He already know. Tough. I don't even gotta go any further. What is that? Is that Tenkaichi 3? Oh, Tenkaichi 3. My favorite Tenkaichi game by far is Tenkaichi 2. I, in my opinion, I think it's better, but all Tenkaichi... Hey, look, look, he already... Look at that, look at that. In his mind, he thought he picked up 3. He really picked up 2. And now he's... And now he's dick riding 2, forgetting that 2 is already up there. See? Look at that. See how... See how life works for real? Like, come on. We ain't even gotta talk for real. That's a that's a Z rank game right there, brother. We ain't even gotta talk for real. The fact you can free uh, I'll go at the at the three. I'll, I'll put three at the two. Three is like three's up there as well. Like in Tenkaichi 2, bro, they had me. It was literally an RPG in free room. It was Kakarot before Kakarot even existed. It's literally it's literally Kakarot for, but with good gameplay. And so I can get Raging Blast out the way. I feel like Raging Blast was a good game when it dropped. I'll give it a B rank. I'll put it over Ultimate just, just for you guys. I'll put it over Ultimate Because Raging Blast 2, I put a lot of time into as well. Probably as much time as I said Tenkaichi 2, Tag Team, and Xenoverse. But I put some time in Raging Blast 2 now. Now, Raging Blast 2, I'm gonna put that motherfucker in the, in the S tier. Probably above. Nah, I don't know. Them cutscenes kind of carry. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, Battle of Z. Bro, I forgot about this will be the only thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just put you in. You know what? What? We'll put you in D, actually. Battle Z was fun for what it was for like that first week. Uh, nah, Battle Z not garbage. I wouldn't even say it's D ranked. Really. Honestly, higher than both of these. The problem that I had with it was 
partner rank. Now partner rank is like really like the end all be all for some fights. If you got like a level, if you got a partner rank of zero, you're not getting revived. So you're better off playing like those low levels. So in a sense, technically it has a lot of replay value, but in another sense, it doesn't because unless you were playing it when the servers were on, like it doesn't have really any replay value. Should we look for infant lord attack? Let's get the let's get the portable games out the way in Xenoverse for last. DBZ tag team A. That was solid. I ain't gonna lie, hot take. Solid. I, I could get with this game. Why everybody? Why everybody hitting on PSP for man? Tag team was like that. Y'all are y'all don't know what a game is anymore, man. What's going on with y'all? That was Xenoverse two before Xenoverse two was a thing. Tenkaichi tag. I actually enjoyed Tenkaichi tag. Mm. All right, Ultimate Battle twenty two. That's all you gotta say though. <laughs> Tag team is an A rank. Single player was five. The the chibi, it's like mini BT2 because you could fly around the earth and stuff like that. You couldn't do as much as you could like in um, BT2 and, and other games, but like, you could still do some stuff on the PSP, which is insane. Now, Infinite World. Let's go off of my own take. I feel like my own take right here, Infinite World, I haven't finished it yet. Man, but what a game it is, man. It's, it's pissed me off and it's made me laugh and it's and I've done so much with just the square combo into Kamehameha Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2. I could just go and see what they're talking about, but I know Sage is going to dick ride and I think I know Rhyme is also going to dick ride. So I think I'm gonna go on my own. Xenoverse 1 chat, honestly, a fun experience. It's not gonna be in garbage. Let me put it in D for now, just because. Let me actually put it right here. It was actually really good. And then the online was trash. Super Saiyan was broken. You can go Super Saiyan and spam ultimates the entire time during like, I don't know if that's, if that's the case now, but back when I played it, bro, if anyone was a Saiyan, Super Saiyan, spam ults. You could literally just do that the entire time. There was no skill involved online or at all when it came to that game. RNG for awaken skills. I didn't like that. That was garbage. I'm gonna be honest with you. Keep that. That 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 was terrible. But it was a really good foundation for Xenoverse 2. And I will put this overworld mission, honestly. It's probably like a high C for me. Now Xenoverse 2, we ain't even gotta talk about it. Put that motherfucker right here. Lit the greats. They really improved on the combat. In a year too, mind you. It was like it, it literally in a year, they gave every all the classes new movesets. Gave a Super Saiyan 3, the gave freezes the, the free transmission golden form. But yeah, that's all of the games that I gotta talk about. If you guys enjoyed this video or this tier list, or if you feel like I should have something changed, uh be sure to comment down below. Oh, and I can subscribe too. You don't have to. Honestly, you making it to the end of this video is all I needed. Link in the description to those tier list videos, rhymes and sages. And yeah, you know, that's that's all I gotta say for real. Talk to you guys soon.